Hello, ophthalmology applicants. Welcome to the Beaumont Eye Institute. We hope you have a great interview day and that this virtual tour gets you a little bit better idea of what our program is about and what we're about. So our first stop on our virtual tour is our Beaumont Eye Institute clinic. The waiting room has been specially modified to adhere to COVID precautions. All patients are required to be six feet apart wearing masks and we have additional seating outside uh, of our lobby as well as downstairs uh, outside the elevators. The second stop on our tour is our main examination hallway. Our clinic features 15 examination rooms specifically meant for our resident education and teaching. Every examination room is very spacious and has all the equipment you'll need to perform a comprehensive ophthalmic exam as well as perform subspecialty care. And each room also comes with its own set of lenses, so residents aren't required to buy lenses unless they wish to. A couple features of our clinic is a procedure room. Our procedure room is where we perform uh, cryo-retinopexy. We have the opportunity to perform minor plastics procedures, including uh, chalazia excisions to lid laceration repairs. And in addition, our uh, procedure room also features a surgical microscope that we can use for uh, procedures that are appropriate to form under topical anesthesia. Uh, for patients that have conjunctival lacerations, we'll bring them back to our procedure room to do them instead of taking them to the operating room. Uh, which is pretty advantageous for patients. In addition to our procedure room, we also have an advanced microsurgical lab. Surgeons from across the Midwest come to our microsurgical lab to train, and it, we have the opportunity as residents to not only go through a required microsurgical training course, but also schedule time on our own to practice our microsurgery skills on pig eyes, uh, practice our capsule rexus and other types of cataract surgery on uh, artificial eyes as well. And throughout the year, we also have multiple labs scheduled to practice oculoplastics procedures, glaucoma procedures, cornea procedures, uh, among others. As a part of our clinic, we also have two separate laser rooms. One features a YAG SLT laser and one a Pascal microscope for panretinal photocoagulation. The advantage of these microscopes is that they also have a teaching screen that allows an attending physician to see exactly what you are doing as well to enhance resident education and learning. A new addition to our clinic is the Norlace Portable Indirect Laser. This laser allows us to treat retinal tears or proliferative retinopathy for patients that are in the ER or in the clinic and have difficulty transporting to our laser rooms. It allows us uh, to just optimize patient care and it comes with a rechargeable foot pedal uh, and a complete power source, allowing us to move this piece of equipment anywhere in the hospital we want to. As a part of our clinic, we also have a variety of work rooms that the residents are assigned to. Uh, we have a feature here is our senior resident work room. Uh, where our PGY4 residents will work and discuss patients, and then we have a separate set of workrooms for our PGY2 and 3 residents. This is our library, which is right next door to the clinic and readily available to our residents. We, here we host a large collection of ophthalmology textbooks from all across the century. Within the library as well, we also have our didactic lectures, and that includes morning and evening lectures, uh, grand rounds lectures where all residents are required to participate and present interesting patient cases to guest speakers and a variety of faculty, uh, as well as where we discuss uh, interesting cases that we saw over the weekend or we saw on call. Now we're entering our emergency room. Hutton Royal Oak ER is the sixth busiest ER in the country. And as ophthalmology residents, it allows us to see a wide variety of medical and surgical pathology. A nice part of the ER is that we have our ophthalmic call room. It's a place where it has a fully functioning slit lamp microscope, ultrasound, lenses that allows us to see emergent consults in the ER. But in addition, we have uh, quite a bit of sterile operating room equipment. So if we need to perform emergent, vision-saving bedside procedures, uh, we're allowed to do so on a variety of our trauma patients. Part of our training program is being a consult resident, which means attending to consults within the ER and in the hospital as well. Here is one of our typical hospital beds that you'll be often seeing patients in.
And in addition, here's one of our intensive care units. Now moving on to the operating room. So we have two circle suites within the hospital that we operate at. Uh, one is suite 100 where the residents are primarily at, and then we also have the Children's Center for Surgery where our retina and oculoplastic staff operate at as well. Each room is quite spacious with a fully functional surgical microscope and well-trained staff and equipment uh, that allows us to perform very complex procedures. A great feature of our surgical program is the use of the Ingenuity 3D heads-up display system. It allows everybody in the room from students to residents to staff members to attendings to visualize what is exactly going on in retina surgery and it's a great tool for teaching and learning. Coleman Hospital is a major tertiary center within Michigan so it allows us residents to see complex medical and surgical pathology and Beaumont itself is just a great place to work at. I made lifelong friends here and every day I feel my medical and surgical skills rapidly growing uh, with our wonderful faculty and I've always felt well supported here. Ha, ha, ha.